Gary Adams will be our first evaluator, Artie and Preach. Good morning, Toastmasters and friends. Good morning. Good morning. With how skilled Gary Adams is at riding horses, I knew that he was going to give us an emotional ride of a speech, and a ride it was. Gary shared with us today the deep emotional connection he's had throughout his life that he has with horses. And it's through that deep connection that he shared with us the passion, the understanding, and the deep skill that he has, he was able to build an emotional connection with us. Here's how. Gary is amazing at painting beautiful and gruesome imagery in our minds. The beauty of that connection between man and horse, our checkered past with those beings, but also the beauty in what we have now, that connection to accomplish great things and to go on a lot of amazing rides, but also the gruesome stuff between a tiger sinking its claws into the back of that beast. Are we prey or are we predator? And that right there is the mark of a great speaker, being able to take where we are as an audience and taking us into his world. Gary came with us today with two specific goals, to develop a connection with us and to make sure we understood what he did. And Gary gave a masterclass in all of that with a deep emotional connection, beautiful imagery, and just be good at what he does, Gary was able to paint all of our hearts. There's one point of improvement that I think would add a little bit of spice to this speech. With that prop out there, one of the most unique props I've ever seen in a Toastmaster speech, I was kind of hoping he'd go and ride around the horse. <laughs> but one thing that I think Gary could have done to really add some spice was to use that prop alongside his visual imagery. He can paint pictures in our minds, but it would have been real dang cool to see him sink his claws into the back of that horse. So overall, amazing emotional connection, beautiful imagery, and you met your goal today of sharing with us what you love. Master Evaluator. <laughs>